I know you watched hundreds and hundreds of morning routine self-improvement videos before clicking this, so I'm not going to waste any time with this video. Let me ask you a question, bro. Out of all of the morning routines you got, how many of them did you actually follow? Maybe you have excuses like, oh, I'm tired, this, this, that. You know it's fucking excuses. And for some reason, out of all of the content you watch, you can't even follow their morning routines. And what does that mean? That means their advice don't fucking work. So you just waste your time watching all of these self-improvement videos, but you take no action. And there's also another reason why you don't do these morning routines. And it's actually quite a reasonable excuse. Well, excuse means not good, but you get what I'm saying. Which is school. School fucks up a lot of things, including this one. Let's say for you, school starts at 8, 8.30. Well, in every self-improvement video, you do deep work in the morning, right? But deep work's two, three hours, and school starts at 8.30. Maybe you live far away as well. You're not trying to wake up at 4, 5 a.m. That's just how it is. And every single self-improvement video I watched, they didn't count in for school. And if they did, they're just like, oh, I'll wake up before everything else, and I do everything, and then I go to school. Most of them are fucking bullshitting you and they're completely lying because a lot of people don't do that. I'm sure a lot of people do and I'm positive a lot of people are just bullshitting. There's no lying on this channel. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on a morning routine. Let's go. I'm going to give you two things that you could do when you have school. Um, follow which one you like or you could just follow both. Personally me, I follow the second one the most but sometimes I do also the first one. Number one, this is gonna sound shocking to you. Wake up later, as soon as you open your eyes, just brush your teeth, do whatever, go to school. So you don't do any of the good habits or whatever until after school. So there's pretty much no morning routine. I do that sometimes when I'm in a rush, I wake up early and yeah. Number two, wake up a little earlier and start with a cold shower. So many people throw out cold shower like this really easy thing and everyone does it. I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I don't do a cold shower in the morning when it's school. Because I wake up late or I don't see the benefits or I expose myself too much to cold water and I don't see much benefit. And a lot of the time it's just fuck because I'm fucking lazy and I just wanna go to school and get it over with. But the reason why I love the cold shower is it gets you momentum for the day. Momentum is super important for a business, for anything, especially for your self-improvement. If you do the hardest thing first thing in the morning, you're more likely to do everything else. When you do a cold shower, you set up your day for success. Momentum is super, super underrated. How does a rocket start from the ground and goes up? Faster, 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 boom! Acceleration, momentum. If the rock kit is going up and just pauses halfway up, guess what? The, that momentum is finished. It's gonna start slowly again. Another thing I love about it, the dopamine benefits, especially if you don't wanna do your meditation and deep work, after a cold shower, you're going to do it. Because dopamine is this motivation hormone that pretty much makes you feel good but it's, it's too broad to explain it like that. All right. Second thing you do in this morning routine. As soon as you do a cold shower, you meditate. Meditation is single-handedly the most underrated self-improvement habit. Everyone talks about cold shower working out. Obviously, great. But meditation is what gets you the focus to actually start and produce results in your business or your studies if you do that. Every single time, let's say I played video games for a couple hours with my family yesterday and my concentration's fucked. Let me do some meditation, most of it is gone. It's a really good return on investment ROI thing you could do. You could meditate for five fucking minutes and that concentration will get you 30 minutes worth of work. It's crazy. Usually I do around 10 minutes, but on busy days or if I'm just feeling lazy, I don't want to do anything, I will do five minutes. So make sure you actually show up in the meditation, even if it's less, so half it. Let's say you do five minutes usually, do two and a half minutes now. 
you get the point. Right after that, gratitude journaling. Now, I hate when people talk about gratitude journaling in the self-improvement space. Is it me or just, is it really weird to obsess over your gratitude journal? Like, I'm not trying to sound like this self-improvement hater, but I feel like there's a lot more beneficial things to do than gratitude journal. Even though it's good, and I do it, so I'm going to explain what I do. I don't like to waste much time with this, but I put one or two points down that I genuinely mean, and it's longer than fucking one sentence. So, I'm going to give you an example of what you should not do. I am grateful for my mum. That's it. I am grateful for my dad. That's it. What the fuck is the point? To say I'm grateful for anything with that, I'm grateful for my dick. Well, what's the fucking reason, bruv? Uh, so, I'm going to tell you now what you should do. I am grateful for my mum because she always cooks for me and never misses out on the cooking, which benefits me a lot because I don't have to get up and cook, which wastes a lot of my time. So now I can concentrate a lot more on my studies and business. You see that? You see how it went from your mum to your studies, your business? Give reasons. And yeah, that's done with gratitude journaling. And then, you go to school. You don't do your deep work in the morning. Like I said, you could do everything here, wake up two, three hours early and do your deep work. That's completely your choice. But these are for people who doesn't want to get up at 4 a.m. They care about self-improvement, but they don't want to fuck up their sleep. They don't want to go to bed at 7 p.m. at night. So, you go to school, six, seven hours, come back. Don't get a detention or I'm going to come to you and slap your fucking face. No detention. You don't want to waste your time. I'm saying this when I... I'm saying this actually like I don't get detention myself. I get detention all the time. But just try not to get them. And these are for my UK audience. The American audience, any other country, you're probably looking at me like I'm a fucking psychopath. Just forget this, that part of the video. When you come back from school, this is so fucking crucial. Don't check your phone. You're going to be distracted. Your sent sent you that funny video. Your friend said, let's go outside. Later. Put your phone in another room or put on Do Not Disturb. Make sure you don't see any notifications. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. Now, you're going to do your deep work. And I guess it's controversial. Yes, you start with 100 brain points in a day and you can work so much better in the morning. It is true. But this is just an alternative. And without your phone, you can actually focus quite good. And in case you don't know what deep work is, deep work is when you concentrate on your hardest work task maybe it's for your business maybe it's a school project but it has to be a task where it requires hyper concentration that you can't do in the background so let me give you an example of deep work scripting videos and stuff like making thumbnails or descriptions is not an example of deep work that's shallow work and then you have a go outside do what you want or you go hit your workout and you're done by the way, bro, if you got to the end of this video, I know you're not at the 99%. So, to reward you for getting this far into the video and having a better attention span than 99% of people, I'm going to give you this one tip that will change everything about this morning routine that I gave you. If I'm being honest, most people that already kicked off, they're not going to follow this morning routine because they don't know this one simple thing that I'm about to tell you. Progressive overload. You know what that is, right? When you go to the gym, you bench the bar, it gets a bit easy for you, add some weight. You do the exact same thing with self-improvement. So, all of these habits I said, most people that watch this video said, oh, meditation, all right, I'll do 10 minutes a day. They will stop after two fucking days. They're not used to doing good habits. They're used to playing video games all their lives and now suddenly they want to work out, do deep work for three hours. They're not going to be able to do it. So everything I told you to do, do less. What you know that you could do every single day, do that. For example, meditation. I do 5 to 10 minutes. You start with 1 minute. Deep work. I do 2-3 hours. You start with maybe 20 minutes. So yeah, that's been Team TMS Arda. Bye.